Hey guys, it's me D Stuff and today I have my friend Kuhu with me. And today we are going to present all about the online game Fireboy and Water Girl by Ditya and Kuhu. Fireboy and Water Girl is an online game. You should try it now. The link's going to be in the description. There are many levels in this game including ice, water, light, fire, crystal and etc. our experience so my experience i started playing this game when my friend kuhu told me about it it is an amazing game and is for multiplayer you only need to cooperate and also have a good brain for it i have been playing fireboy and water girl for one year and i love it so far my experience I started playing this game when my friends told me about it. They also informed me about Friv and Agame dot com. Those are the apps you can find Fireboy and Water Girl on. How to play it online for Fireboy? To control Fireboy, you use the arrow keys on your keyboard. In the Fire Temple, Fireboy needs to help Water Girl go to her home, and they need to be productive and help each other. Fire boy is very smart in sight. Controls for water girl. To control water girl, you use A, D, and W keys on your keyboard. In the water temple, water girl needs to help fire boy to go through the, his home, and they need to help each other. Water girl is very beautiful in sight. Rules and points for the online game. Never mix fire and water. Be aware of the green goo and jump over it. Fire boy always glides on ice. Water girl slows down on ice. Help each other for the fire temple and the water temple. Be aware of the buttons and levers. You cannot jump on ice and snow. You can jump in fire and water. You can push and keep the boxes anywhere in various levels. Fire boy can't climb slope with ice and snow. Water girl can climb slopes with ice and snow. You have to collect each diamond before reaching to your home. Diamond levels don't have a time limit. So, uh, some other rules: only water girl can can collect the blue diamonds, and only fire boy can collect the red diamonds. Push boxes on lasers to open various types of gates. Push levers and turn the boxes for various types of movements. Blue light freezes water, and red light melts ice and snow. Water girl can climb slopes with ice and snow, but very slowly. There are timed buttons for different gates. Hold on buttons and let each other pass and climb on the stone platforms. Help each other cross by standing on the boxes and someone else pushing it. Look out for portals and be sure which leads to which. Portals will have the same color, and this is how you know which portal leads to which. Buttons must be held, but not needed for levers. They stay in position. You can only unlock levels when you complete a level, and some portals need to be activated by the same color lever. Materials for the real game of Fireboy and Water Girl. You need table and chairs, blue and red carpets, or you can write on chairs blue water and red water, and place them on the floor in distance. If you do not have colored mats, you can make the water puddles as big as you wish. Torch or any source of light. Two members, obstacles and vehicles, big spaces, blue and red clothes, blue and red diamond paper cana. Cutouts, many in quantity. Heavy boxes or anything big you can move and stand on. So before I continue, now we are telling the materials for the real game of Fireboy and Water Girl, and not the online one. Some more materials you require are sticks or something you can move as levers, a green carpet or anything that is big, many in quantity, and green transparent sheets. Crayons, some black chart papers or cardboard. You can put some markings as the ice and snow on the floor and paints. Steps to play Fireboy and Water Girl in real life. First, plan where you're going 
to set up the game plan where you're going to put the chairs the tables vehicles basically just pictureize the place or spot to put the necessary things choose who is going to become fireboy and water girl it's not necessary that fireboy and water girl have to be in the same gender that is the in the computer also arrange the diamond paper cutouts what is going to be your dream goo your boxes buttons and levers includes timed buttons your laser lights and last but not least the gates of the homes of fireboy and water girl you need to choose two doors one for fireboy you can use a symbol to ident to identify which door is whose and one for water girl as the setup is ready, the game will begin from any place in your home. Fireboy and Watergirl control themselves and pass the level. They should stand on the heavy boxes and the other one pushes them, push levers, etc. Collect every diamond and time how much time and time how much time that you take. Stop the time of a pauses and redo the levels if you fail or want to retry. Make a scoreboard and write your time. If you reach till the doors and if you collected each diamond is when you pass a level. These are few colors to recognize how you have done the level. If you color purple in a hexagon, then you did not collect all your diamonds and did not do the time limit given. If you got the color orange in a hexagon, then you did not color all all your diamonds or did not do the timing time limit if you color green in a hexagon then you did all of the things it basically means you completed the level note this applies in the online game too and note these are your markings or score for the real and online game points for the real game make sure the torch is in the correct position Make sure the diamonds are in some distance. Stick some transparent sheet or color and stick a A4 sheet on few boxes. Put portals in distance and each portal will have a different color so you know which portal leads to which. Make markings or something as buttons. Make sticks for the levers and paint the sticks the color of the gate you want to open. You can also take match of the color of red, blue and green. If you have a red laser then you can use it as red light or you can just put a red sheet in front of your torch. Same applies for the blue light. Warnings for the real game. Be careful when you stand on the boxes. Be careful when you push some sticks as levers. Be careful when entering portals. And do not interact with real fire and water. Do not use books or anything in the game. Make sure you have enough space so you do not hurt yourself. Do not use real ice as ice or snow. Note, you do not need balls or slopes in the real games. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching my video. Bye.